everyone, welcome to Sonic Station, and today we have a special video here for the channel. Yes, this is my true self, T from Sonic Station, and I'm here to react to the Sonic Origins reveal trailer, or release trailer, I think it's released because it was already revealed, so yeah, it's the release trailer. And um, I just knew that this trailer dropped like a few seconds ago. I haven't reacted to it at all. I haven't opened to it at all. Haven't seen any spoilers. So this will be my truly original reaction to this trailer. I am a huge classic Sonic fan. I love the true classic era. And so I'm really excited to react to this. I mean, when I saw the image that you are probably seeing here around, like that was leaked one or two days ago, I already became crazy about it because I thought that he looked so good. So I have high expectations for this trailer. Um, maybe the collection is not going to be the best thing ever, it depends on what they bring to it. And we are going to just watch it today, like right now, and see what I think about it. So, in case you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, share with your friends, all those things that the other YouTubers ask, and let's get right into it. I have here my headphones, and we are going to react to Sonic Origins release trailer in 3, 2, 1, let's go! Okay, Sega? Oh my god, we have a brand new title screen? Oh. oh my god, we have an animated! Oh my god, an animation! This collision chaos. Hey, we found Sonic! Okay, play the classic games that define a generation Sonic 1. Oh my god, we have an animation of Sonic 2. Okay, four fully remastered titles. So it's Sonic 1, CD, 2, and 3 and Knuckles! Yes! Oh, and I noticed that we have some coins and I for Sonic. Oh my god, that's that robot. Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles. Oh, Amy is not in. That's a shame. Okay, we have coins. We have Knuckles and Tails. Um, we have Super Tails. Man, I'm confused. So many things are happening. Oh my god. We have Tails. We have Sonic, Tails, Knuckles. Classic mode and anniversary. So, classic seems to be the original games with the live system. An animation anniversary has coins, cool, and it's widescreen. All new animated, oh my god, it's Sonic! It's in Angel Island! Dr. Eggman, Sonic gave me Tails Knuckles! Oh my god, this looks so good. When is it going to be released? Oh my god, it's Sonic's birthday! Yes! And we have a deluxe edition. Okay, we have Steam, at least that. They got my god. Oh my god, so many things have just happened! Man, I, I need to breathe a little bit. I'll be right back, guys. Hey, Sonic Station here from post, um, we can say post break and post, uh, recording. This section here of the video is now going to be my deep analysis of the trailer. I'm going to showcase some exclusive images that are not in the trailer so please stay until the end and if you haven't already leave a like subscribe and share this video with your friends and now on to the video okay guys so now some time has passed now i am a bit more comfortable speak about other things so now let's focus on everything that this trailer showed and I also did some research on the Steam page so I'm going to provide you the most useful information about Sonic Origins because there are things that were not shown in this trailer. So we are going to recap some things first of the trailer with some images and then I'm going to provide you some other things. So first things first, I want to focus on this image. As you can see here, um, the animation was super fast, but I want to focus that this is a time stone. So it's not a Chaos Emerald that weren't made any changes to the lore of Sonic CD. At least that we can feel more comfortable about it. So next image, um, it is the thing 
that everyone is going to speak about. This is not the Christian Whitehead version of Sonic 1 or Sonic 2 or Sonic CD or Sonic 3 and Knuckles. They are brand new versions and we can see here that we no longer have lives, we now have coins, and it says coin zero, so we can start with zero coins. It's a bit weird, but here with more images, we are going to find out more about this topic, because I think I have an explanation to this. Now, here the next image is just to show that we have a new logo for Sonic 3 and Knuckles. And we have, um, I know the screenshot isn't the best, but we have Hypersonic confirmed to be in Sonic 3 and Knuckles. It is good to have the Hyperform return after so long without Hyperform. And I was really scared that we wouldn't have Sonic 3 and Knuckles, but at least we have the complete package. So that's really good. Moving up to the next, it's the character select. And why did I decide to show this? It's because we have a different icon in Sonic, and this makes me a bit confused. We have Sonic, Tails and Knuckles. Can we only choose Sonic, Tails or Knuckles? Or does that icon mean that uh, we can actually... We are actually choosing now a partner to Sonic. Maybe that's a thing, maybe that's not. I'm really not sure, we can see that Knuckles uses the Sonic 3 and Knuckles sprites, so no new sprites made specifically for this version, at least that's what we know. And we have there the text that was restored saying press button, of course it's not press start, it's press button, which was what was present in the Christian Whitehead versions. Moving forward, in this image I decided to focus because we have Knuckles and Tails playable, I suppose that Tails is following you and you are playing as Knuckles. This is really cool because this was kind of a hidden feature in Sonic 2 the 2013, the Christian Whitehead version. It's really cool because you had to go to the level select mode and press, um, I think it was the sound test three times to then only be able to use in no save this partnership. But it seems that you are going to be able to use this more normally, at least I hope so. Moving forward with this image, I decided to post this image, why? Because um, I think many were going to assume that Tails did not have his flickies following, ar following around him, and I think that with the Sonic Mania release, where Tails got a super form without his flickies, I assumed that everyone was going to think about uh, Tails having a super form and then having a hyper form which was going to be his whole super form. That can still happen but here we can see that Flickies were following Tails so maybe this is just Super Tails, I really don't know but I wanted to emphasize that this is not a new transformation for Tails as far as I know. Now moving forward we have here an image showing the past icon on the coins so uh, we have here Sonic CD, of course, and I want to emphasize that we only saw gameplay in Sonic CD of Sonic and Tails until this moment. So does this mean we are not going to have Knuckles in the Sonic CD? I am not sure, I really hope so, but we have to remember, Christian Whitehead only had Sonic and Tails, so maybe Knuckles is not going to make the cut into this one. We really need to wait to check this out. And the next one is focusing that the anniversary mode is going to have the return of Eden Palace Zone that was present in Sonic 2, the 2013 version. At least we know that, and it still has coins, so I really decided to focus on this one. And finally, the last uh, picture from uh, the trailer, it is the bonus that you are going to get. You are going to get bonus hard missions, so does this mean we are going to have a mission mode? Yes, it means, and I'm going to show you in a bit the menu of that mission mode. We are going to have additional music tracks. At first, I think everyone could think about customizing your soundtrack in the games, but I'm really not sure about that and I'm going to show you why in a little bit. We have letterbox backgrounds, so I have no idea if this is just to be the background in the classic version or something like that. I have no idea, or if you are able to download for your PC, who knows. Character animations, I actually have um, 
a notion of these animations and I'm going to explain to you all in a little bit and we have island camera island camera is a bit weird I hope that they don't make a giant island with everything that would be really weird because all these games happen in different islands but maybe I have an idea of all these features that are going to happen and I'm going to explain in a little bit just to emphasize if this wasn't mentioned um, here um, of course it wasn't mentioned um, on the trailer but we are going to have DLC uh, I noticed on the Steam page that it says that it is going to be the Star Dash DLC that's going to have also the pre-order DLC so I have no idea how many DLC packs this is going to have and I'm going to reveal to you all the price at least here where I live um, at the end of the video now we are going to look at some exclusive um, screenshots that were not present here in this trailer and the first one is this one so this one might seem a bit confusing this is just to show that we have a um, coin monitor that is replacing the um, the life icon monitor and i'm going to explain to you all why i'm valuing this much it's because we have 120 coins of course they maybe are acquired in other means but i just wanted to emphasize that we have a way to get them in the normal stages because you are going to see in the few screenshots that it's not the only way that you can get this um coins so Next screenshot is here this menu and I want to emphasize this menu because um, this is quite interesting. You can see here that we have uh, a 3D model of Angel Island Zone so maybe this is the island mode or the island camera mode and we have here the fourth game which is Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Knuckles. And this is kind of interesting we have uh six spots you can see that we have uh maybe six games and i'm going to explain to you all that i think the order is sonic 1 sonic cd sonic 2 sonic 3 and knuckles though as it was presented in the trailer and then sonic 3 alone and sonic and knuckles alone and i'm going to explain to you all why i think this is happening why all of this is happening i will explain every single detail to you guys you can see that we have an anniversary mode which is going to represent the new 60 by 9 um mode it actually says that in the description we have a classic mode we have a boss rush mode which is interesting and we have the blue spheres mode which was the thing that you could access if you connected the sonic and knuckles cartridge with sonic one so we are not going to have a menu that allows us to like uh make the connections and everything which is kind of sad but at the same time okay i can accept it now a curious thing we don't have a time attack mode which i expect it to be um in these kinds of games and we do not have a competition mode and for those that played sonic 3 and knuckles they know that sonic 3 and knuckles has an exclusive competition mode maybe that can only be accessed if you play sonic the hedgehog 3 alone and it replaces the blue spheres mode who knows i don't know maybe that's what's going to happen but i'm really not happy for not seeing here the competition mode because sonic 2 also has a competition mode and maybe it's going to replace the blue spheres one we have to take it a little bit caution before trying to infer some things but to be honest i'm a bit disappointed for not seeing that now moving forward we have here a menu that allows you to listen to um some tracks i think that for the duration this is going to be the sonic spinball title screen for the sega mega drive version in fact it says it's the number 179 and it says this bgm plays on the title screen so i was correct we have the option of changing um pretty weirdly to number 180 and to number 251 I assume that the L2 would be the previous one, so if nothing has been locked, maybe we are going to have 251 um, songs that we can listen to 
in this version. Who knows? Now, we can see here that Sonic is running. It has some musical notes. And we can see that we have um, an option to repeat, an option to disable shuffle. Um, we also have the option to switch characters. So maybe we can switch to Tails or Knuckles. And it's here that I think that we are going to have the different character animations i think it's going to be just to this mode i hope not but i think it's going to be just to this now moving forward we have here this screenshot of sonic 3 and knuckles just to show you that they have the transition we have mushroom heal zone and i actually don't remember i decided to put this screenshot because i don't remember sonic and tails coming from the right i remember them coming from the left so maybe it's a new animation who knows? I certainly don't. Here we have the mission mode. Yes, guys, we have the mission mode. And we can see that we have four games, Sonic 1, Sonic CD 2, and 3 and Knuckles, which was the order that I referred before. We can see that we have some missions here. Um, we can see we have some stars. Maybe you are going to get some stars. I don't know. Um, we can see that the stars do not influence the rank, so maybe the rank is going to show you um, how much difficult is going to be the, um, the mission. But actually, no, um, I just noticed that it says that rank rewards are the amount of coins that this game gives you. So maybe the coins you are going to use to buy stuff in a shop. I don't know, I I'm really uh, looking to this for the first time with you guys. And we can see here, um, maybe the amount of times that you accomplish something will give you more stars, I don't know. We have missions for these four games, which makes me believe that the fifth and sixth game from the previous screenshot are indeed Sonic the Hedgehog 3, just alone, and Sonic and & Knuckles. And we have this mission mode and we can acquire coins through this and maybe buy things on the shop. And finally, we have here another screenshot, which is showing that we have the revamped Sonic the Hedgehog 2 special stages from the Christian Whitehead version, the 2013 version. So it's going to be really 3D. We are going to have these special stages. And we have a final screenshot now. It's really final, but I'm going to make a mention to this because I forgot to take one. Um, it's just showing that the Sonic CD intro is going to be 4x3 and not stretched to a 16x9 as it was in the Christian Whitehead version. One thing I did not mention, it has another screenshot that at first I thought it wasn't important, but it is. It is about the special stages in Sonic CD. The HUD is not stretched. It's the first thing. And the second thing is that it used Sonic. No, no, we don't have footage of Tails nor Knuckles there. So I'm really inclined to believe that maybe Knuckles won't make the cut to Sonic CD. But I really hope that I am wrong. And that's basically it for you guys. Before I leave, I want to reveal the price. So the price of this game is going to be here, and I assume uh, around the world almost the same, $40. And I must confess, it's really expensive. Um, there are four games that we have other ways of playing, and I think it is really expensive. Uh, I'm not seeing a lot of content like manuals and other videos that are going to make this collection that much valuable. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe we are going to get more things. I know that the games were remade and everything, but it doesn't seem like a good price to me. Sonic Mania was not as expensive as this collection, and okay, we are in a current um, different situation around the world, but... I'm really not sure about this price, but this is not the definitive price, guys. This is the normal version. The digital version is some uh, extra dollars, I think five extra dollars, so totaling uh, $45. Is this worth it? Is it not? I don't know. I'm going to make some discussions about this, about things that I expect to be in this. 
Um, one unfortunately is not going to happen, which is Amy Rose playable. Maybe she will become a DLC, as I mentioned on Steam, it mentions DLC. Who knows? We'll have to wait and see. And well, guys, this was my video about Sonic Origins with my trailer reaction and some deep analysis. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care, you all.